Hello, yes, white nationalism became a history club, especially round about the 1970s, 80s, maybe 90s even, where it pushed articles on historical events in, say, like John Tyndall's Spearhead, William, Dr. William Pierce's National Vanguard, Insturation, was that by Wilmot Robertson, correct me if I'm wrong, and the one I was thinking of yesterday, the Barnes Review, that's the one. They pushed like articles on historical events like who sunk the Lusitania, who attacked the Liberty, who started the First World War, the Second World War, the Bolshevik Revolution, the list is endless. Also, as well, especially in the 70s, uh, academics like um, Hans Eisenk, I've got his book behind me there, William Shockley, Arthur Jensen, were challenging the egalitarian nonsense, the Bosian, Francis Bose, Bosian line of anthropology and nonsense and about uh, equality. They questioned it, that we weren't all equal and there was biological differences. And I think the main guy they were up against was Professor Stephen Rose, remember him? Uh, those that have been around like me in the 70s will remember him. But anyway, uh, there was forever articles, especially in Spearhead, um, supporting the likes of Arthur Jensen, Hans Eisenk, William Shockley. Now, as I've said, what happened, the movement then became a source of, not totally, but a source of, especially through those magazines, like a bit of a history club, a biology club. We believed if we could show to the public real historical events and facts and not the distorted ones from the controlled media the public somehow would thank us and come rushing to us in droves if we could show them that races were not biologically equal but for in fact unequal and very much uh um you know far apart in their differences they were going to thank us and come running in droves and so nothing could be further from the truth i'm just killing a bit of time till i and Marie Walsh's programs on later, and I'll cover that tomorrow. Anyway, uh, also Dr. David Duke in his, his book, The Secret Behind Communism, there's a chapter on South African communism, and he mentions that book there on my left, The Tra Traitor's End. But also, there's another one next to it called Ravonia's Children. Now, the Ravonia treason trial um, in South Africa involved uh, members of the Communist Party who all just happened to be uh, Jews, the white ones, that is, and various other uh, blacks like uh, Mandela and uh, Mbiki, Zazula, there's a few of them anyway, anyway. And uh, they were arrested and jailed. Now, Ravoni's children are the children that were made uh, parentless because the parents were thrown in jail, hence Ravoni's children. But there's an interesting piece in the book. The prosecuting judge over the Ravonian, Ravonia treason trial was Percy Utah, a Jew. And a lot of Jews attacked him saying he was a traitor and a sellout for uh, uh, prosecuting these Jews and presiding over them. But others looked a bit further than that and said no. What Percy Utah was doing was invoking a law from the Middle Ages called the Court Jew where a Jew prosecutor could punish individual Jews to protect the bigger community. Now that book, Ravonia's Children by Glenn Frankel, who's Jewish, that's from the horse's mouth. That's how they operate. And if you remember the Rosenberg uh, treason trial, the Chicago 7 trial, they were presided over by two, ju two Jew judges, Irving and Julius Kaufman. There you go, another snippet of information I've learned, you know, since reading these books. But again, and that's what reminded me when I read Traitor's Ending, uh, Dr. Will, uh, Dr. Sorry, Dr. Duke's uh, book, The Secret Behind Communism. Right, but we can't do nothing with it. Just like all those magazines, like all those articles on historical events or on biology, we can't sell it to the public. We never have been able to. Who runs MTV? The public doesn't care. The public loves all the filth and horror. Haven't you realised that yet? They don't care. They're not going to come and thank you for it. Right? This is just a short video because like I've said, I'm just killing a bit of time and 
uh, waiting for that program to come on later on. Okay, thank you.